And we're back with 7 billion humans. Our job is gonna be to kill as many as possible. Or perhaps save them, not sure. And what job actually allows you to kill a lot of people? Yes, it's software engineering. So we're gonna be doing a bit of coding. That's the very job where you're able to hold people's lives in your hands. In this puzzle, our task is very simple. Get these people to hold these green data cubes and stand on the bottom row. We've already completed this level once, but this time we're gonna try to complete some additional challenges. So this code I have here should make them do exactly what we need, which is keep walking down, try picking up a cube if they can, and once they're standing next to a hole, which is here, they should drop the cubes. That's the level completed. We've also already completed the optional size challenge, which is using five or fewer commands. And now we should try to go for the optional speed challenge. Complete this level in under six seconds. Now what's actually taking so long in this case? Well, I'm telling them to try and pick up a cube every step on the way. So for example, this lady is gonna try and pick up a cube and it's gonna take her some time to realize that she has nothing to pick up before stepping down. So we need them to pick up a cube only if there actually is a cube. So let's try doing this. If you are standing on a data cube, only then should you pick it up. Let's try running this code. Should hopefully be a little faster because they don't keep stopping so much and thinking, oh, I don't have anything to pick up. So this was a lot quicker, but was it enough? Let's see. It wasn't. It was much faster, because uh, originally we had 14 seconds, now we've got 9, but we still need to knock 3 seconds down. And honestly, I'm not sure how to do that. I think we could also stop checking this if there isn't a hole under you. So let's do this. If you're standing on a data cube, pick it up, that's fine. Then if there is a hole under you, you should drop the cube and every time you should jump back to the start and when should you step? I think every time. Yes. So let's try doing that. They might fall in the end, we'll see. But I think this might be a little faster. So far so good. Yes, they actually went down. So was it okay? Yes, that's fine. They can fall down. That's great. <laughs> because our robot overlords don't actually care about the lives of those people. But this is 10 seconds. Oh, that's not great. Maybe this can speed it up. One last thought. First check if there is a hole under you. If not, that's fine. Then you keep going and you keep stepping and checking the data cube and picking it up if needed. But these few steps, they don't need to check if there is a hole or not, since they are not yet holding a data cube, so that should be hopefully a little faster, but I can see it's too slow already. And for some reason they didn't, they didn't drop it. Oh, of course they didn't drop it. Alright, so no way to do this for now. Let's just continue and we're gonna do level 11. We haven't even seen that, we haven't tried it. Let's see. Injection sites. And there's a lot of cubes here. Important data cubes from management. Yes, put in those horizontal lines. And we need to fill in the missing data in each line. So just put those data cubes wherever they fit. Order doesn't matter, that, that's good to know. Yes, one empty space below each of those people. Okay, that's great. So each person is supposed to step down, pick up the cube that's under them and then keep going down and fill these rows. Okay, let's try it. First of all, can we actually pick up a cube? Yes, we can, that's under them. So no need to step, originally we could only pick up a cube they're standing on. So they should be able to pick up the cube straight away and then they're gonna keep stepping down like that. And at some point we want them to drop the cube. If next to you on the left, let's say, it doesn't matter left or right, that's okay. 
if on the left of you there is a data cube, then you should drop your cube. And I think that, for example, this person shouldn't be allowed to drop the cube here, since there already is a cube on this spot. If that's not the case, then I can say, and there isn't a cube where you're standing. So I want them to actually keep stepping down and trying to drop the cube or check if they can drop the cube. Let's run the code and see how it goes. So they've picked up the cube straight away. Yes, and they can't actually drop the cubes when there's already a cube there. So this should be fine and they should be able to complete the level just fine. So we've already used five or fewer commands. That's the first optional challenge, lovely. And now we need them to do it in seven seconds. Let's give it a go. And again, it's taking them a lot of time to tell me that they can't drop a cube since there already is a cube. So let's try and make this if statement a little better. When should they drop the cube? If on the left side there is a data cube, but also where you're standing there isn't a data cube. So there is free space for you to drop it and that's you're in the row of data cubes basically. Let's try it. Is it gonna be a little quicker? Hopefully. Now let's see. That's, that's a lot faster. Is it enough? It's not enough. That's 10 seconds and we need 7. I don't really think that we are wasting any time anywhere. That's weird. How am I supposed to make this even faster? I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually complete this optional challenge. But that's fine, let's go for level... Not injection sites 2, because that's level 13. Let's try level 12. Unzip. That sounds like fun. Okay, that really seems interesting. Let's unzip this line of data. So leftmost data cube is supposed to move up, the next cube down and so on. So move the data cubes where those arrows are pointing to. And this little guy has already started the solution for us. So the people are gonna pick up the solution and if to the left of them there is a wall, which is true only for this guy, which is number one thanks to the comment, uh, they step up and drop and else I think that's stupid else mushrooms oh that's other people okay so if we don't care about the execution time and number of commands what we could do is do one person at a time so the first person goes out of the way and then if there isn't a person on the left of you it should isolate this lady you should step down and I'm not really sure how, 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 how should she know, how, what about the other guy? How do people know which way to move? Basically we need every odd person to step up and every even person to step down. And I don't really know how to know which one is odd and which one is even. So this here could be the second person, so let's try. Else, if on the left of you there isn't a person, you should step down and obviously drop the data cube. These comments are taking way too much space, so I'm gonna get rid of those. And I need some jumps, so let's jump straight to the top there. And let's see what it, this uh, does. So this person on the left has a wall next to them, so she should step up and drop the cube. The next person stepped down because there actually wasn't a worker next to them anymore but now next to this guy there also isn't a worker so he should step up but he's gonna step down and exactly as I suspected after a couple of moves they're all gonna be standing down with the cubes down there but we somehow need to isolate every second person Oh, I know, I know. So how does this actually start? This person gets there. And what now? Now we should check if there is a data cube on the ground on the top left from you, you step down. 
and if there is data cube on the bottom left of you, you step up. That's how the solution should be. So let's try doing that. If uh, on the top right of you there is a data cube on the ground, you should step down. Else if there is data cube on the left, bottom left of you, then you should step up. And both of you drop the cube. And I think that might be it. Let's try it. It's working! Yes, it's working! Nice! That's great! Obviously, it took me a lot of commands. Our target would be 8 and 7 seconds. Come on, that's impossible in 7 seconds. Well, we can do some optimizations, such as all of these people have the drop command there, so we can just place it on the end and remove those two. So that's already two fewer commands. I don't think I need this if statement, or do I? I think I do, because we want the people to really check is there a data cube on the left or on the bottom left or top left. Because it, it the information from the left side takes some time to propagate, which tells me how to actually speed this up. We can do the same thing from the right side as well. So we are gonna go from both sides and that hopefully should cut our time in half. So first uh, let's see uh, if we can do fewer commands. Do we need this else branch? I don't think so. Let's remove it. Yes, we don't need the else, else branch at all. And I think here we still do, so let's try doing that. Speed it up a little. And it doesn't work. Oh, we don't actually want them to drop it every time. I was wrong. That's bad. So I actually need the drops to be put back into place. Yes, and it works. We're at 12 commands at this point. What if I were to remove this else part and just do the if? I think that's gonna be wrong. It's not. I was wrong. I don't think we can at this point do it in fewer steps, but what we can hopefully do is do it faster. So let's see. If there is a wall on the left of you, you step up and drop. If there is a wall on the right of you, it's this guy, you step down and obviously drop the cube. And I also told you that if there is a data cube on the top left of you, which means the person to the left of you stepped up, you should be able to step down and drop the cube. And if there is a cube to the bottom left of you, you should step up. So do the other thing and drop the cube. So that's back to where we were originally. Let's just try whether it works. And it does. That's great. And obviously we have to do the same thing from the right. So if there is a data cube on the top right of you, you step down. Bottom right of you, you step up. And I think we should be able to merge those if statements together so there isn't so much mayhem. So when should you step up and drop? If you're next to a wall, wall is on left side, or bottom left of you there is a data cube, or bottom right of you there is a data cube. So that's when you step up. When the person to the left, to the right of you stepped down or next to you on the left side there is a wall. If there is a wall on the right side you step down or the person to the right of you stepped up or if the person to the to the left of you stepped up you should also step down. We no longer need those two if statements and I see that we've got fewer commands. So maybe this is gonna work for the optional challenges as well. Let's see. And it's working beautifully so far. So it's propagating from both sides, from the left side and the right side, the information of those people moving. That's great. So eight or fewer commands completed. That's mar marvelous. Great. And we weren't even aiming for that. We were trying to do the speed challenge and we're, we're at nine seconds now. We need seven. And I have one last idea. I'm always telling them to check for data cubes, which are next to them somewhere and that's how they should know whether they should go down or up. 
but there only is a data cube because someone next to them went there and actually put the data cube down. So what first happens, there is a worker there, not a data cube. Because when there is a worker hold holding a data cube, it doesn't actually count like a data cube being there. So let's try doing this, hopefully it's gonna be a little faster. It was a lot faster, it seemed. Oh, nice! So the target was 7 seconds and we did it in 4. That's actually pretty great. So hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know how much I messed up some of those challenges. And I will just be happy that I managed to not kill anyone this time.